Hopefully this thing's gonna start. Been sitting on it all winter. Well, that hood keeps the water off of it. Let's check this gas out. Oh, yeah, it's got some gas in it from last year. Check this oil here. Oh yeah, that's dirty. That's gotta be changed. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, that's dull. That's gotta be sharp bow. Oh. oh, come on. Just fire. No, you wanna start. Come on. Oh. Come on, start up for me. Come on, just start up with Uncle Andy. Well, this is all stuff I can do myself, but I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna think it's Daryl. Have Daryl do it. Here I come, Daryl! Pterodactyl here. Today's how to video is gonna be basic push mower maintenance. I'm gonna go over some basic push mower maintenance you can do on your push mower, get it ready for the year. Most important things are gonna be the air filter, changing the oil, the blade, the spark plug, and we're gonna address the gasoline too a little bit. So, first thing you're gonna do is wanna find out where the air filter is. On this particular model, here's the air filter. See, a lot of people don't know where the air filter is. So you gotta find the air filter and replace it. Air filter gets a lot of dirt during the year because it's like a vacuum cleaner, these motors. Sucking in a lot of air. When you're spinning that blade, kicking up dirt and dust, it's got to go somewhere. It goes right into the air filter. This one, the air filter's here. So you can remove that screw, replace the air filter. Next thing you're going to want to do, spark plug. Find out where your spark plug is. Change that. These are old flathead motors. Spark plugs in the front. Overhead valve motor, plugs on the side. Oh, look at that, a stick in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is find where your plug is. Follow the wire, wire will tell you. Take the plug out, it's got a number on it, and then go make sure you get the right plug by the number on there. You can find it on the inner screen, go to your local lawnmower shop, Take the old plug with you, they'll give you the right plug. Okay, you understand all that? All right, now the oil. You're gonna to wanna to check the oil. Check and change the oil. It's good to get the oil warm before you change it. it comes out a lot faster. Now, there's a lot of different ways to change the oil. Some have a drain plug on them, some Newer ones have no drain plug. You gotta drain it where you fill it. So you wanna warm up the motor, get it warm, and then get some kind of pan, big pan, take the dipstick out, then you're gonna wanna flip it on its side, drain that oil out. Now if yours has a drain plug, like these do, got a square hole in here which is the same size as the socket wrench see it's right in there then you can remove that drain plug and drain the oil so there's a lot of discussion about which way to tip the mower there's really no clear cut clear way because if you tip it one way you can run the chance of filling the carburetor and the head and everything with oil. Tip it the other way, you can fill it with gas and then you got a mess on your hand. So the best way is to tip it away from the spark plug. Spark plug's in the front. You wanna tip it up like this. Now I know it makes it a little hard to get at things when you have it in that position, but that's the safest way. So especially if you want to access the blade, you want to do that. Like I said, you can tip it one way or the other. You run a chance of filling things with gas and oil where you don't want that gas and oil to be. So you can get something, you know, get somebody to hold it down, get some kind of weight, 
weighed it down to hold the mower up for you. Now we can go to the blade, dressing the blade. Most of these mowers got a blade hub. A lot of them just have one bolt in the middle. So what you can do is wear a glove, put a glove on. You can see I got a glove on. And then hold the blade and then with a socket wrench remove it. If you have an impact wrench you can remove it with an impact. Take the blade off and then sharpen it or have it sharpened or if you want to do it yourself I have a video that shows you how to sharpen a lawnmower blade. So look at my channel on how to sharpen a lawnmower blade with Terrell. Now you're going to want to inspect your blade, make sure it's good to be sharpened. This one's iffy. It could be sharpened, but the lift is getting worn. See, that's the lift there. That's what stands the, gr stands the grass up to make it cut. So inspect your blade. If you're not sure, just go buy a new one. Take the old blade with you and make sure you get the right blade. Now you can put these blades on upside down. See, that's upside down. You don't want that. It'll go on upside down. You want the lift up. The lift up. Some blades are even marked grass side, it'll tell you. So that's the correct way. Lift always goes up. Make sure your blade ain't bent. If it hits something, you'll know if it's bent. Now look what I'm doing, I'm paying attention. Okay, now we're gonna address the fuel. Cause Uncle Andy couldn't get his started cause we live in a part of the country where our lawnmowers sit. You may live in a part of the country where you use your lawnmower year round, but we live in a part where they sit for months at a time and the gas gets old because the gas isn't that good these days. It goes bad fast. So you're gonna wanna get the old gas out of the gas tank. So you gotta drain it out somehow. So go to the store, grocery store, get one of these turkey basters. You can get in there and you can suck the gas out a little bit at a time. Put it in a container. Make sure you dispose of it properly. Don't dump it on the ground. I know it come out of the ground, but don't put it back in the ground. Dispose of it properly. So you want to get all the gas, all the old gas out. Now on this one, you can pump that primer and that'll help get the rest of the gas out of the carburetor, get it all out, pour some fresh in there. You can run high grade 93 octane if you desire. That's what I recommend, run the high grade fuel. And then pump it, and then it should start. If it doesn't, you might want to give it a little help to get it going for the first time for that year. Sometimes that's all they need is just a little kick in the butt. So you can spray some carb spray in the carburetor or some starting fluid, but only do that to get it started, to get it running. If it won't stay running and you have to use this to keep it running, then your carburetor's got a problem and you need to clean that. And I have a video on that on how to clean the carburetor. So if that's the case, that's what you want to do. Now you're not going to blow up the engine or anything by spraying this in there. Because people go, you're going to blow the motor up by doing that. You ain't going to blow the motor up. Just do it to get it started. If it doesn't stay running, then you know you got a fuel problem. In the case on this, the carburetor is bolted to the gas tank. So you'd have to remove it. We got a video on that to show you how to do that. On this engine, it's got a float bowl. The float bowl is underneath here on the underneath the air filter. It's got a bowl nut. Most of these lawn mowers, the bowl nut is the main jet. So you can remove that nut. And down the center is the main jet. You may have to clean that out, prod it out with something. 
And then you might even want to drop the float bowl. Pull the float bowl off, make sure there's no crap in there. And you may have to replace the bowl gasket, put it back on. That'll help flush that out. Run that fresh fuel through there. Then you should be able to get it running. Okay, say you got a mower that's got that self-propel on it. You might want to check and make sure that's working properly. A lot of them have a cover on there. You might want to pull the cover off. This one's got one bolt holds the cover on. Sometimes this will get packed up with grass. You got to clean that out of there. You might have to replace the belt. So you're going to want to check the belt. These wheels. A lot of these wheels on these self propels, they got a gear in the wheel. Some of it's a plastic gear. Might want to check and see if you got one wheel peel. You may have a problem, you have to replace one of the wheels. Gear might be shot. Or your trans may be bad. But that's something to check too. So if you got one of these self propels, got a cover on it, you may want to periodically pull that cover off, make sure it's all clean under there and then you may have to replace that belt periodically. Okay, there's some basic uh, maintenance tips that you need to do on your push mower. When you have one of these push mowers every year, you're gonna wanna check the air filter, the spark plug, change the oil, replace or sharpen the blade, and make sure you got fresh fuel in it. That's the most important, and it should run. If it doesn't run, well, then it could be a whole host of other things, and oh yeah, we can make videos forever on that. So there you go. There it is. Basic maintenance tips on your basic push mower. And there's your basic dinner. <laughs>